Staying warm by the screen side. Screen side. Hey, everybody. Hey. We have a special guest with us. Hello. Our friend Eric. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you can tell, we are about to play the Stanley Parable, um, the classic. The classic <laughs> Stanley Parable, very classic. Um, and classy. And classy. And classy. It is very classy. So I have played this game. Steve has played this game. Yes. Dan has not. I'm a Stanley Parable virgin. Stan's a Stanley mm -hmm. Parable virgin, and we are about to stretch your Stanley hole. Virgin. Yep. Virginable. Just, just, We're going to uh, wreck that hole. Wreck, wreck that, that hole. Stanley Parable. Wreck, so, wreck that parable. fun thing, uh, the best part of this game, and if people are uh, familiar with it, is that the best thing is to come in blind. Yep. Absolutely. And that's the best way I come in. Yep. That is. <laughs> you're not even I know for a fact. You're not even <laughs> breathing hard. <Nope>. Yes. <laughs> All right, so shall we start? Danny, okay. ready? Yeah. Oh. Right, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Ooh, I we're like getting massage rubbing. action. Mm, rubbing my shoulders. Hot, yeah. hot, hot, Dan, uh, Eric on Dan uh, massage action. It actually feels pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I think they're kind of oh, tired wait, of uh, okay. looking at there the screen, go. so let's go ahead the and start. The end is never the end. This is the story of oh. a man named Stanley. Your Stanley. Stanley Who has raised three very, very lovely girls. Where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was hey, Dan, it's you. He sat at his desk in room 427 <laughs> and he pushed buttons on the key. Uh, Just like we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a mouse, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Take that, Stanley. And a, a better monitor than a CRT. And look at him, he's like single finger. Yeah, it's yeah. like, can you barely type? Take a typing class. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Mavis Beacon <laughs> teaches typing. We should totally do that. Some point. Blah, blah, blah. So this is going to be a very vocal heavy show, uh, game. And then okay. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. He started Something getting hair he where he's never had it before. Yes, and feeling <laughs> strange <laughs> feeling <laughs> about the copier machine. <laughs> uh, actually, at him that one time. Uh, better than the pencil <laughs> sharpener. Oh. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Pardon. Call a meeting. The burp type. even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete Ermager. isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. It's a zombie apocalypse. Shops, frozen soil. Or the, ra the rapture. Stanley found the rapture. himself unable to move for the longest time. But as so, he came uh, to his wits and regained his senses, are you sure he he's not just his desk hitting enter with his one finger? <laughs> uh, that or he's used one of those dipping birds, you know. To <laughs> <laughs> right. Triple his productivity. Yeah, true. All right, let's Why? have a, let's have a Why? second Why? of just oh moment. Have nothing. Let that have. Creepy. Just, just for a second. Eric is stroking Dan because you can't see this, of course. Yes. So, it doesn't even tell you what to do. It, just, just go. I'm just hitting random keys because it's. Uh, it doesn't no, say. Normal, normal movie. W S A D. W I S D. And do I activate anything? Uh, they'll, they'll tell you how to do stuff. You just need to leave the room. Oh. Can I take my coffee with me? I never go anywhere without my coffee. I'm a touch it. <laughs> I'm a touch it. Where's the touch button? Well, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. I can't touch anything. Sorry, I'm in viewers. hell. Sorry, <laughs> viewers. You I'm in a little barfy. So, I can't touch anything yet? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Gas! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. A memo? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Good heavens! Ooh, where have my co-workers gone? Hey, how come they get a GUI and we have the friggin' just command prompt? Well, because they're harder workers. Hmm. Command GUIs are for GUIs are for closers, Steve. Although we get our own. Not a closer? At least no. we're not out here Aww. in like, no. nowhere. Um, oh yes, so, the lovely, absolutely nothing out the window. Yep. I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> hey, let's not get too big. Or maybe you are, maybe you're not. 
I'll just figure it if out. You, if you're dead, why can Username I see? Username access. Uh, oh god! We got a ghost stand! Ghost stand! Na 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 Ghost stand! Ghost stand! Ghost stand! Ghost stand! Ghost in. So when, ghost the, when the guy speaks, does whatever yeah. Ghost in does. Right now it's looking at a mug that's on top of filing cabinets. Says, ghost I in. hate Mondays. <laughs> Shut up, Garfield. <laughs> when Danny came to a set of oh, two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I? Yep, you entered the door on your left. Or you did it. This is what you need. Okay, that's the left. That's the right. You want to go left? Right. Or right? Right. Left? Going left, left. right? Right, okay. I'm going left. It's what the voice said, and I'm very suggestible. Yep. Not a rebel, eh? Hey, uh, hey, Dan. I know that, Peek. What? How about, uh, you buy us some food, eh? That's the Dan thing. bought us food. I didn't buy nothings. Yet there was not a single person here either. <laughs> Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Well, as there's only one way I can go through here, I guess I have to. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is beyond the future? Hmm. It's like X-Men. Past the future is yep. past of going past the future hey, in the past. Dan! What? Who moved my desk? Uh, not me. Why? Please keep the targets on the topic, topic of, of not cost efficient for stand something graphs. Don't care. Lovely. Hey, look, more mugs. I want them. I want them all. <laughs> they all say I hate Monday. Or something. Well, one said like this is conference room. Oh, is it? That's a I hate Monday. Uh, the engrossing game of coffee mugs. That is yep. the Stanley Parable. What do you... We're, hey, something just happened. Boss Appreciation Minute. Circle the top 20 things you love about your boss. How many options do they Fill have? out in yeah. triplicate and return to boss. Solving its personal content. If you ever find yourself an employee of another diligent employee, like uh, yourself, but more inclined to a conflict, unless you're the kind of person who initiates conflict, why did we hire you? <laughs> <laughs> what are your dreams for the future? Talks radio, my toasts. Transcend, success, metamorphosis, spring break, clear skin, hope. Less air, pollution, travel. This is getting Lunch. too much like a self-help memo for me. Tips for not, not getting, getting fired. fired. Talk, Talk less. less. Do unbelievably amazing work. And the best one. All the time, every day. No ex expectation of promotion. Don't get fired. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. Hey, he seems cool. to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even make a shadow. Um, I am dead. Because oh God, a yeah, body would make a shadow. That or the budget on the game wasn't high enough. <laughs> Either or. Yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I only do what you say most of the time. Okay, come on. Go downstairs. Thank you. And it was at that point that Dan didn't suck Steve's dick. Uh... What's that against my thigh? Hey, a car. <laughs> a car? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And yes. in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? Absolutely not. It made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? 
And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Mm -hmm. Well, this is simply repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, or is it? Relief, oh, 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 um, found just an, that up. an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. No co-workers, no listening to the narrator makes Stanley something something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do! And began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it was so much fun. And how was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me Thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. All right, we're getting a little existential here. <laughs> Very meta. Yeah. Welcome to the Stanley Parables. That of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, I need a drink. To take Give me a drink. Yeah. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, the voice He's also words, pooped his pants more than he ever has in his oh, life. Oh, he knew for certain beyond a doubt. That's assuming that he has pants. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? <laughs> How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was Wait, a part I've seen of himself that too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Wake the up, Dad. On his back. I don't wake wanna. up. I don't want to. Wake up. No. Wake no. Up. no. This one. I'm going to rage. Rage against the dying of the dream. Up, he thought to no. La 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 la. I'm through with this dream. I'm awake. I'm awake. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. The one button it's at a time. The one button at a time. Mm -hmm. I want my apartment. And my wife, and my job. He's married. All I want is my life. Wow! Good to you. My it's funny that they normal. did not bother mentioning that at all before. Everything will be fine. But everything wasn't fine. Okay. Eh. Eh. Stanley began screaming. Please! Ah! My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Stanley! And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, hey, Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky yep. she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Yeah. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, fake this thoughts. Man made her fake. Feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. Uh. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extending Very important. the rest of her life, she had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Which is completely and natural. Then she turned and ran. 
But we could not animate that because of budget budgetary reasons. <laughs> That's that? Yep. Well, that Thanks. was the Stanley that, that Parable. Was, that was the Stanley Parable. The end is never the end. Yep. Do you want me to jump on for this? Or do we want to take it? Do we want to keep going? Uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right. Yeah. For a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Let's let's do one more. <coughs> At least. Yep. Yep. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, uh, did he? Oh, Absolutely. He did. Oh yeah, he did. So You're not a rebel. Well, uh, a rebel yeah, apparently no leads to insanity, so I'm going to do exactly as I'm told. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an aunt. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. In the staircase, which is a weird place for his office. Bougie. Executive bathroom. Oh, it's got to be gorgeous in there. Man, it's like a look, water like it, it, yeah, it'll, it'll be huge with waterfalls and peacocks. And all it's the it's like on The Simpsons. You have. Yeah, uh, all the cocaine. Stepping into his manager's office, Sweet. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of that's a fucking mind. huge Shot, office. Unraveled. What did they do? Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated Fun this. Pressing. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so Gasp! the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. There's no possible way. Mm. Yeah. Click. Yeah. Hi. Mm. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Struck it incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input yeah. the correct yes. code by sheer luck. Random. Easy, yes, sheer he luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. The hell? It's fiberglass, you know, uh, for insulation. Right, right. It looked like those, like, yard refuse bags. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. What's this? A little alcove? Yeah. Darkness. I was expecting to fall to my doom, but okay. I can do that here as well as anywhere. Do you have to press the button? Oh, now I can do press it. things? Yes, you can. Click, I think. There we go. There you go. Whee! And down we go. Sweet. Do, 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 we apologize for all of your ear stirring of emotion ears. Yeah, like the, whole, the entire ear, not just the drum, all of it. Yeah, we're sorry. Don't worry, Eric will pay for the and any doctor's expenses for it. <laughs> yes. You just need to contact me where I live. Yes. Okay. This is totally. The and kind he of lives, thing. everybody, as. The large door that read Mind Control Facility. <gasps> Gasp. Or there's the escape. Uh. 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 Ah. Uh. Escape! Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yeah. Wait, which way did I come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're All through. forward! <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, yeah. no, go back. No. Nope. Just embrace your death. Wait, which no, way is back? Yeah. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that's the way out. I don't... Eh... Confront your death. Be a man. You must be swift as the coursing <laughs> river. Don't Run. want Disney to kill us. Run. Oh, the mouse doesn't scare me. Go. Vengeance! 
This is mine! Ha ha! Aha! Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply <coughs> had too much to live for. Too much, I tell you. Why? Do you? Apparently, Do you? Apparently, I'm married and a whole bunch of other shit. They don't really let you know all that. Wait, what's that? What's that? The lights rose on an enormous room what? packed with television screens. Uh, oh, on the table. What horrible secret Cerebro. did this place hold? Oh, those numbers. Stanley then. thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? This is Cerebro. Pretty Where's my yeah, helmet? Yeah. I want my helmet. No, he hates Mondays too. Uh Employee observation protocol. You're being observed. Or the other people were. Press the button. I'll and press my button. To the job to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Hmm. That was 400 something, right? Yeah, 492, I believe. Or actually. Like 432. 432. Four, three. What? Steve, if you can confirm the number and put it on the screen. Uh, what, Steve. What, what number? The number uh, that Stanley's I. Stanley's number. I have. Oh, okay. If that's 432, it's the bottom one right down uh, there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And it. But is we're also probably horribly wrong. Yeah. Either way, I'll probably get it in this shot somewhere. Also, future Steve, can you can you give me a little birthday cake uh, that will that'll float down from the top of the screen? No. This no. Okay. Because that's more for me to edit. To okay. And I yeah, love you, viewers. It, you don't know how much work it adds. Oh no, I know exactly. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <clears throat> sure. Yeah. I mean, if Why the not? good enough. I'm cool with it. How's it benefits? It. Yeah. He could yeah. not accept it. Yeah. His own life is like, someone else's You can put up with a lot of boring ass shit if you make enough money. Was Absolutely. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had yes. he truly spent his entire life no. utterly blind to the world? Yeah, maybe. Yes. Possibly. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Mm. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over Did another I? human life. For I kind of want to take it over. Would dismantle <laughs> the controls once and for all. No, I want to use it. You know how powerful I could be? That would be kind of cool. Uh, oh, there's two. Two button. There's a two button. Console disabled. No, you turn it back around. There's a two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two. Press the two. The two? Or actually, no, find eight. <laughs> find eight. There's an eight? There's an eight somewhere. Hey, look at me. I'm going in here. Wee. Big wheel of death. And that was nothing. That's three. a three. Five. Should just press the big red button there to your left. Yeah. Ooh, there's something up there. Oh, that's a four. That's a four. Find the eight. No, the big red button. Uh, 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 uh. You're failing, Dan. Stop failing at life again. Hey, man, apparently it's not my doing, okay? I'm mind-controlled. I don't know what to do. <sighs> There's an eight somewhere? Yeah. I actually off never found on. it. Just a power on or off. Wait, then why are you telling me to find an eight if you don't even know it exists? Oh, I know it exists. It's just I, I forgot to... I know it's there somewhere. Yeah, that, 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 that's really helpful. Yeah. And watch how this is one of the random games where it's the one without the 8 at all. And you weren't aware that there was one without an 8. 3, 
I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Yeah. That we are playing in an eight-less game, as it were. All right. So do you want to go into the thing now? What thing? The facility power. You mean where there is no eight? Yes, where there is no eight. I, I, I there get... is no eight. I don't see how there could be. I've looked everywhere. Yeah, no, no. Th this is the Matrix. There is no eight. Mm -hmm. I mean... Just pa punching random buttons. <laughs> Big damn bro. <laughs> Alright, okay, mind cool. control awaiting input. <laughs> System when power! He found the source of the room's power. He <coughs> knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Offer on. On! Oh, Stan me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? The yes! Control? Oh, Stan me. Help lord your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification... There's no place to put the DNA identification in. Is there? In the no, look. It's like 1950s tape computer shit. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Uh oh. More time to shine. You are the star. Go on. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. <laughs> Where we just like five much times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J j no just like, start. fuck with it. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. What? I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing <laughs> buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Yay! Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I thought you just erased everybody. Say this, though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Oh, that's right. That Watching you just try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Yeah. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh, what can but we do? Wait, so what much. we can all do in uh, 30 seconds? I'm going to put some. Uh, uh, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, did I actually oh, hit? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that was oh, only meant to be <laughs> sound. Jesus that Christ. uh, that was not meant to be wet. I apologize, Dan. <laughs> oh man, you All got up on the side of my face, <laughs> down my arm, both you, hands. You got damn boy. Jesus. No, nah, give us more time <laughs> to enjoy enjoy my spit. Oh. I was really on the list of things that I wanted to happen today. <laughs> That was only about halfway down the list. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the experience of the stand. <laughs> yep, getting spit on. Yep. <laughs> when I played it, a random hobo came, broke into my house, and spit on me. Yeah, when I did it, Eric came and spit on me as well. So. In that order? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, or did I spit on you and then come? Ah. Uh, I don't remember. I had had a lot to drink that night. You're only still staying instead of watching a cut cutscene. But watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see you made <coughs> This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. Press on again. But 
time to be destroyed first, so you... Jesus, this guy's really freaking flipping out. Look at the clock, Scott. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 30 seconds to tell a big boom and then... Oh, can you jump off that little gap there? No, I tried. Aw. Would you claim desperately to kill for your life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Mm. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at it. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! And that's the Stanley Parable. It didn't let me hit off. Thoughts, Dan? Yeah, it's interesting. Yep. Hey, it's not the end. So, yep. uh, um, we're going to uh, say that this episode's a wrap. Yep. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a follow-up episode. No. no. So, uh, Eric... There's a lot of other things we can do uh, in this game, but yeah. it's better to And we recommend you it. find them out yourself. Yeah, yeah yes. absolutely. But uh, yeah. thank you for, for being really on the show, fun. Eric. Oh, you're welcome. We, we, we love having you. So. I suspect I'll be back very soon. Uh, well, to them it won't be Winky. quite as soon. But yes, we, 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 he's going to be recording with us a bit more. So. Yeah. Although, who knows when this will be released. And it might actually, that's my soda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask if that was my soda or not. <laughs> Apparently it's not my soda. I get so. spit on, I get backwash. I didn't actually backwash. <laughs> and worse, next time on Screenside. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye.